One, two, three. Where's it going? Ah, How did that stop? And the loaf of bread levitates in midair. It looks like the band begins to vanish. That is impossible. How did you do that? What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you seven mind-blowing magic tricks that you can do right now. What does that do? Did that blow your mind? That just <laughs> happened. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Watch the bottle on the table. Here's how to set up the crushing bottle trick. All you need is a plastic bottle and some fishing line. Start out by poking a couple holes through the plastic bottle. One hole on this side, flip it around and do a hole on the opposite side in the exact same spot. You then want to run a piece of fishing line through the bottle just like this. And we're going to anchor it on the other side with another piece of plastic, or you can just tie it off, but I found this works best. And you put a little bit of hot glue on here to anchor it in place. So obviously this is not a trick you're gonna perform super close up. You want to be at a little bit of a distance so the audience doesn't see this. You're gonna anchor the other end of the fishing line to your foot underneath the table. Then as you push your toe down to the ground, it's going to increase the tension on the line, effectively crushing the bottle because the fishing line is running through the middle of it. Super cool way to make it look like you have the power to crush things with your mind. Okay, V, I have two balloons here, a red and a blue balloon. This is already really fun. You take the red, I'll take the blue. So check this out. Uh, we're going to try to make like a, a linking rings illusion with the balloons. So oh, hold it just like this. Animal. No, just hold it just like that. And I'm going to take mine just like this. Okay. So okay. now they're clearly linked through each other, right? Then, yes. No way they can come apart, right? No. So watch. One, two, ah, three. What? How did that not stop? Through just like that. Oh, how did that work? All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick, it's extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. This is the balloon through the balloon trick. I invented this trick just for this video. You're gonna have the spectator hold one balloon like this and kind of make a loop with it. You're then going to take the other balloon and put it through the middle of their loop and show that you've made kind of linking rings with balloons. So there's no way they can come apart. Then at some point during the trick, you're going to distract the person so that you can lift the balloon out and fold it over right here in the middle. And you wanna pinch the bottom of the balloon with your middle finger just like that. So that when you put it back on, you're looping it over top of the balloon just like this and continuing to hold it in place. Now, once you have it looped back through, give the balloon a good tug like this to convince the spectator that there's no way the balloons could pass through each other without popping. Then all you have to do on the count of three is release your middle finger right here and the balloons will pop apart just like that. Creating a really amazing illusion that the balloons have just magically passed through each other. And there's another trick coming up next. Here's how you create two balloons from one. I have a glass of ice water here, V. If you will, just hold it by the top just like that. Perfect. One hand. Awesome. Yeah, whatever you want to do, whatever's comfortable for you. Does that work? Yes. Okay. So look, I have nothing in my hands. You can so see, right? Yes. Nothing in my hands. All right, watch. Uh, I'm is just. It real water? It is real water. Yes. Okay. All right, watch. I'm going to try to reach through the glass and see if I can grab something. Watch. If I just reach. Careful, it's glass. Look. You can see some water. Dripping out. Is this about to break? No, I'm just reaching inside the glass. Look, you can see the water dripping out. Watch. Yeah. If I pull, I can actually grab one of the ice cubes. Look. No way. No way. <gasps> that is impossible. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? How did you do that? I, that's, I never know. Here. 
This is an Evan Era original. I invented this trick just for this video, so you're not gonna see this anywhere else. You start out the trick by getting a glass and a piece of ice. You're gonna position the piece of ice right here on the bottom of the glass, take a couple pieces of tape to hold it in place, and then place this glass in the freezer. The ice cube will freeze to the side of the glass, sticking it in place. Once that's set up, you can fill the rest of the glass with ice, and that's going to hide your ice cube on the back of the glass. Fill it up with water. When you present it to the audience, make sure you're holding the piece of ice facing away from them. And when they go to hold it, make sure they hold it by the top because you're gonna be doing all your work on the bottom of the glass. You're gonna provide some cover with your hand on the outside as you remove the frozen piece of ice from the back of the glass. And as you grab it, a couple drips may come off the ice. And that just creates the perfect illusion that you're somehow like poking a hole in the cup and pulling the ice right out of the glass. They're left holding the glass that they can inspect, look at the bottom, there's no holes in it, and then you can then hand them this piece of ice as well. If you like this trick, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Okay, Ava, I have a really cool trick to show you, but I have to grab something out of the fridge first. Huh? A bottle of orange juice. Mm -hmm. So I also have a straw. Yes. Hold the straw. So I'm going to remove the lid from my juice, just like this. Would you hold the lid, please? Perfect. As you can see, I have a full bottle of orange juice there. Mm -hmm. Watch, I'm going to take my straw, I'm going to see if I can magically drink the orange juice without ever touching it. Okay, that's not possible, but... Watch. Never touching it with the straw, look. <sighs> See it? Yeah. Watch, watch. And just like that, I magically drank the orange juice. Stay tuned, the secret to this one is really juicy. Here's the setup for this one. You're going to need a bottle and a balloon. Start out by emptying the juice out of the bottle, but set it aside, you're going to need some of it. Poke a hole in the bottom corner of the bottle, just like this. You want a hole a little smaller than the mouth of the balloon. So we're actually going to feed the balloon inside the bottle. Now you need that little bit of overhang because you're gonna glue this in place right on the outside of the bottle. And then inflate it inside like this. You then want to cap the balloon off with your finger and hold the air inside. You want to fill the rest up with the juice. So now you can present this as a full bottle of orange juice. Just be careful not to flash the back side and put the cap on. Now the water level is maintained. It looks like a brand new bottle of juice now. So you can now show this very openly to the audience. Nothing in your hands. You show the bottle of juice and you open it up. Make sure at this point that you cover the balloon with your finger and say, watch, I can drink the juice through mid-air, look. Ah, it's delicious. I have a really cool trick to show you with a rubber band. So check oh. this out. I have a rubber band right here. Inspect it, make sure it's normal. Nothing in my hands either. That's so right. normal rubber band. So I'm gonna take the band <laughs> like this, uh, hold it over the table like this, and do me a favor, hold your wrist right above the band. Okay. Yeah, just like that. As you can see, it's clearly underneath your wrist like that. I'm going to loop it over like this. Okay. So your wrist is clearly locked in the <laughs> Yes, it is. Right it's now, a little yeah? tight. Right, so watch. One, two, three. What? And it pops right through uh. your wrist just like that. Uh. That'll work. Okay, this is probably my favorite rubber band trick of all time. It might be my favorite magic trick of all time. All you need for it is a rubber band. I'm using a uh, handlebar of a bike to demonstrate this. You're gonna hold the rubber band between your two forefingers, just like this with your palms facing up. Wrap the rubber band around the person's wrist, and then all you're gonna do is release this finger. Let the rubber band just slowly roll off of that finger and let it pop around back onto that exact same finger. Boom, just like that. So wrap it and we'll slow this down in slow motion so you can see it goes off of this finger and right back onto it, just like that. <laughs> it happens so fast. It looks like a camera trick in real life. It's one of those little like knacky tricks that you can just do at a moment's notice and it just blows people's minds. All you need to do it is a rubber band. Pretty much any rubber band will work and I just find myself doing it all day just because it's super amazing once you get it down. It's so cool. Try 
this one out at home and let me know in the comments what you thought. Okay, check this out. I have a loaf of bread here. Watch. And just like that, the loaf floats in midair. Okay, here is the secret to the magic floating loaf of bread. <laughs> it's just a pencil stuck in the back of the loaf of bread and you hold it between your teeth. You can do this with a lot of different objects. Oh, it smells awesome. I love bread. Anything that's light enough to support with a pencil or something like a wooden skewer, you can make it look like it's floating as long as they're seeing it from the proper angle. Obviously, if they see it from the side, you're going to expose the secret. So always be sure you're maintaining the proper angle for your trick. Grab a loaf and make it float. They call me bread with scissor hands. You think this is how they make the bread bowls at Panera? It's not keto. We'll throw them in the woods. None of this animal goes to waste. Watch this rubber band. If I pinch it here and hold like this, look. It looks like the band begins to vanish just like that. All you need to do this trick are two rubber bands and you're going to link them together just like this. And now put it on your wrist. Now you're going to grab one of the strands of band like this just by one and hold it right here at your fingertips. This is how you're gonna present the rubber band to the audience. You then come over, pinch with this hand like this and rotate to here. So now you're gonna press your wrist of this hand against the thumb of the other hand. And now you're going to pretend to pull up. What's actually happening is it's just slowly coming from between your fingers and retracting right back to your wrist. If you liked all of these tricks, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and share it with someone you think might like it too. All the likes and the shares, they really help with the YouTube algorithm. So please, destroy that thumbs up button. Head over to EvanEraTV.com. That is my online magic shop. Literally over a hundred really amazing magic tricks that you won't find anywhere else. They're super easy to do, just like the tricks in this video. And there's always new tricks being added to the site. And there's always really cool clearance items. You can get magic for super cheap. Head over to the link in the description at EvanEraTV.com. And it is giveaway time. I am giving away seven mystery items from EvanEraTV.com. All you have to do to win the giveaway is leave a comment in the comment section down below and be subscribed to Evan Era TV with the bell notification turned on. So you get notified as soon as we post a new video so you can learn some new magic. Time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Information on how to claim your prize is in the description of this video. If you missed the last episode of how-to magic, catch up by watching it right up here. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, remember that anything is is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys. Bread knuckle boxing.